Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the area of a parallelogram. So here we have some parallelogram. Let's go ahead and call this bottom side B for base. And from this top corner vertex, we're going to drop down a height, which we know is going to be perpendicular to the base. And we'll call that length H. Well, the area of a parallelogram is simply base times height. Familiar formula. But the problem is that we are often not given the height of a parallelogram explicitly at the beginning of an exercise. So how can we determine the area? Let's say, for example, that we are given the length of this side and also perhaps the angle in between this side and the base. That's enough information to determine the height because we can think of this shape here as being a right triangle. So we know the length of the hypotenuse and we know this angle here and we know that's a right triangle. Well, we can use some simple trigonometry to find the height. We recall that the sine of theta is equal to the opposite leg, which is h, over the hypotenuse, which is s. Okay, well from here we can easily isolate h by multiplying both sides by s. So we get s times sine theta. So we can simply multiply this quantity times the base we've got our area. But what are some other pieces of information we might be given? One well, interesting problem is, let's say that our parallelogram is inscribed in a rectangle. And let's say that we know, for some reason, we are able to determine the area of this triangle here. Well, you can easily show that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So this area is going to be equal to this area. And so if we know the area of these two triangles, then we should also probably be able to determine the area of the overall rectangle. Well, from there, we can simply take the area of the rectangle and subtract the area of the triangles. And that way, we get the area of our parallelogram. These are just two of many examples. The main idea here is that we want to think of parallelogram as being comprised or being part of rectangles and right triangles, both of which we have very familiar formulas for finding the area. If we can do that, finding the area of the parallelogram is no problem. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to find the area of a parallelogram.